Hey friends, I hope you're all doing well and having a great day. I heard a little secret that Michael's has new yarn. And so I looked on the website and I got to go. So y'all want to go with me? Let's go to Michael's and see what the new yarn is. And let's just look at it and feel it and see what we like about it. So here we are at Michael's in Monroe, Louisiana. And we're just going to slip in there and take a look at their yarn selection. Hopefully, they will have the new yarns. You never know. So, I thought we'd just take a look, look around and see what's going on in there today. Um, a lot of empty spaces. I hope people hadn't beat me to the new yarn. <laughs> I'm always a day late. Look at that. It's all gone. No, that's not new yarn. But I'm just kind of giving you a walk through just to, let's just kind of take a little peeksie and see what yarns there are. That was interesting. They have so, you know, yarn, it comes in every color and texture and, Oh, it's just so pretty. And if you're not a yarny person, then you just don't understand. <laughs> you don't understand that yarn, just calling your name. There's the impressions. And, you know, depending on how that's wound, it will look like it's different colorways. But the saltwater taffy, it can be the same colorway but it looks like a totally different colorway if it's you know the way it's wound up so that was real interesting i dug around and in deep into those and kind of took a peek of the different colors on the inside and i was just checking out what solids because i did need two skeins of a brown but they didn't have what i was looking for I do see lots of empty holes. I hope those get filled quickly. You never know. But I see lots of pastel colors that are speaking my language. And lots of beautiful cakes over there. Ugh, the cakes. That's my heart. <laughs> I did love that pink and purple and white. Um, and that chunky cake. That's really pretty. The two shades of pink. Yeah, that's really pretty. I like cakes. I don't know. They're just beautiful. So do you see any cakes there that you really like? What is your favorite cakes to use? Do you like the skinny cakes? Chunky cakes? Is there a certain cake that you like like there's a baby cake i can't even think of all, all of them right now but there's latte cakes and just so much let me know in the description box is there a certain cake that you like and then of course that clearance didn't go to anything that they had <laughs> that clearance tag was the yarn for that was long gone this yarn here did catch my eye and they had this blue with the pink, and then they had like an ivory with the pink flower. You see right there close to it. And so I looked at that, and it reminded me of another yarn that we can talk about later. But, um, yeah, I just, and then I, was, I decided that I was going to get one, but then I had to decide, was I going to get the ivory one or the blue one? Because I did like them both. But then I couldn't decide what I was going to make either, so it didn't really matter what color I got, because <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> Look at all those beautiful colors. I love them. I love all those pastel colors. Do you like primary, pastel, muted, 
or jewel tone colors or earth tone colors what is your color palette I like primary but I also like pastel um, sometimes I like jewel tone it depends on the project I guess um, so I was just taking a look to show you what other supplies that Michaels has other than yarn. They had some hook holders, lots of hooks. They have two knitting machines. And I do plan on doing a video about um, comparing all the knitting machines coming up. They have knitting needles. Um, then they had some looms, and so I just thought I would just share with you guys, you know, what looms that they do have and kind of give you price ideas. And I am going to be boxing up some of my looms and listing them on Etsy. So I was wanting to get a, uh, an idea of the price there so I can, you know, price mine cheaper than Michael's, of course. So here we are at the new Karen anniversary cakes aren't those gorgeous colors right there in that big old anniversary cake the greens were very beautiful too my son Dakota would love those the purple I love that purple and that light blue mixed in with it and then the blue with the little green mixed in with that and then there was a browns with some blue mixed in. They were all beautiful. And they only had two of each color. That was their inventory. And those spice cakes were really nice too. I like that turquoise one. I did. I did. And now they have those little bitty um, cupcakes back. They have the pom-pom on it. We, none of us knew what to do with the little pom-poms. Because <laughs> they didn't really tie on to a hat. But they were just cute on top of the little cupcakes. Um, so the last ones I had I actually sent to somebody in a yarn swap. But they were cute. I did look at them. But then I thought, well, I didn't use the ones I had before. And that was really soft, too. I could feel the wool in it, though. Um, so that kind of... It was soft, but yet I could feel the wool. I don't know how to explain it, but I didn't feel like it was a texture that I would want to feel all the time. So I did not um, get any of that. The color was pretty. That one that I had in my hand right there was really pretty. And all the spice cakes, they had that green and the purple and that turquoise. Those were all really beautiful colors, too. Like, I guess they were new colorways of that. Because I know they've had the spice cakes before. And then, ba-boom, over here, what did they have? Latte cakes. Well, no, they had clown, cloud cakes. And then latte cakes. The cloud cakes were super soft. Oh, they're like a cloud of in heaven. And then the latte cake. So, yeah, that was a hard choice right there. <laughs> if you see on that sign right there, if I, if I, well, you might have saw that granny square, square sweater. Oh, this yarn here was... I've never seen it before. I don't know if it's really new, but they had all different colors, and it was all so pretty. And I just wonder if I should have got one of those ivories to go with what I did get. But um, it was nice, beautiful yarn. They're super soft. I have no idea what to make with it. I do need suggestions for that because, um, yeah something that needs to be really soft and lush it's a five weight yarn so and then my michaels now has bolts of yarn i would never had that before that was totally new so i just went down the aisle to share and also because i wanted to show my neighbor that they had bolts of yarn 
and she has a little one who loves Stitch. She's crazy about Stitch, and so I, you know, wanted to show her they had Stitch material. But they had the rainbow and some character stuff, lots of material. So I thought that was interesting. Hey friends, welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla's Yarn Tube. I'm Kayla. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out with me today. I wanted to share some yarns with y'all that I got at Michael's. And I'm not completely sure if they're new yarns. I know one of them is. <laughs> but I'm not completely sure if they're new yarns or not. Now, I will say that yesterday morning... I did see that Jennifer at Cinnamon Stitches did a Michael's yarn video and she was holding up two of the yarns that I had got. And so I purposely did not watch Jennifer's video yet because I wanted to say whatever I wanted to say and not be influenced by whatever she says. I mean, I love Jennifer and we probably have the same thoughts and ideas and stuff. But um, I just wanted to make my video before I watched her opinion right <laughs> and then I'll go watch her video while my videos uploading so anyway um I just didn't I just didn't want to uh, you know be influenced by somebody else's thoughts I wanted to share my original thoughts so anyway I did pick up some yarns from Michaels and one of the ones I picked up and I do not know if this is new or not it's the first time I saw it but I might have just noticed it for the first time. <laughs> I'm not always observant <laughs> and see everything. But this is the Sweet Snuggles Light. It's a polyester yarn, 174 yards. It is loops and thread. And it is a number um, six yarn. But anyway, when I saw it... This is what it looks like. And it is, you know, a thicker yarn. It is a little bit velvety um, blanket feeling. But when I saw that, I just wonder, does it work up to look like flowers? Um, I don't know if it does or not. And so I think what I'm going to do is make some winter slipper socks with it. Uh, hopefully it's enough to make two. But, um... Yeah, that's what I was thinking I would do is make some slipper socks with that for the winter and just see if it, <laughs> sassy, see if it makes up to look like little flowers. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I'm, I'm going to play around with it. The yarns that, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> we have traffic issues around here. <laughs> Sassy. I know, you think you're supposed to be in the middle of everything. Yeah, I really don't know how this will work up, but I'm thinking it reminded me of that yarn, and I think it was a Premier Bloom yarn before, maybe. It was when I first got into yarn stuff. Um, there was a yarn that worked up to look like flowers, and then before I could get any, it um, went off the market. Would you stop? <laughs> anyway, so we are going to come back to the and revisit the yarns that I'm showing you today and work them up and see how they do work up. Okay, this one I have is... Oh, stop, stop. Um... It's loops and threads. Okay, Sassy, you're going to have to go. You're going to have to go. Go, go, go. <laughs> okay, it should just lay down. Okay, so this is loops and thread impressions. This is 246 yards, and it is a number five weight yarn. Pretty sure that's a five. But it's very pretty. Let me see if there's a colorway on this. And I need to check that other one. 
the color on this says saltwater taffy and I tell you what it kind of reminds me of the colors that tap mama is making my cardigan in I'm not sure if it's the same yarn or not to be honest I can't remember what yarn she's using <laughs> <laughs> but this kind of looks like that variegated yarn but anyway um, it's very pretty it's very pretty it's got more colors down in there I know you can't see all that but it does have some pretty colors in there so that was saltwater taffy the name of this color is um, It'd really help if I could see. <laughs> rose Blossom. Something Rose Blossom. So, that makes me think it will work up to look like flowers. Now, I don't know. It may not in double crochet. I may have to do some single crochet rows. Anyway. So, this is the yarn that I actually went in to get. And so, I had a project in mind that I want to make with this yarn. Y'all ready? <laughs> this is the yarn that I actually went in to get. And I had a project in mind. <gasps> I had a project in mind. No, I'm actually shocked there for a minute. And I was. I'll tell you in just a second. <laughs> and when I got in the store, there was a... I thought it was the label. I thought it was a picture on the label. But the picture here is that purse. Let me check the other one. Because I did get two of those. Because we need two for the project. Okay, so, it must have been a sign they had in the store and not the label. <clears throat> I was thinking it was on the label. But once I got in there, there was a picture of a granny square sweater made with this yarn. And I was like, oh, I want to make that. But I already had a project. I went in to buy this for a particular project that I'm wanting to start. And... Guess what? <laughs> I saw the granny sweater made with this. And I was like, oh, I like that. I want to make that too. So, I can't decide if we want to make the blanket project or the granny square project. Help me decide on that. These are the Karen Anniversary Cakes. I, I do have some Karen Anniversary Cakes from past times. That are my pets. <laughs> They're my pets. I, I just like them. I like them. These are six weight yarn. This is a thousand and sixty one yards. And the color of this is called. Um, Prime. Uh, I can't even see, y'all. I don't know. My eyes are really bad this week. Ooh. <laughs> Prismic Prime something. I'm not sure. Okay, you're going to have to go. 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 Um, anyway, it's primary colors in it. Rainbow colors. It's um, all the colors in it. Greens, white, purple, black, gray, yellow. Fuchsia, pink, I don't know, all the colors. <laughs> I love these anniversary cakes. I like big balls.
Okay. Um, what else did I get while I was in there? I saw this yarn, and I'm not sure if it's a new yarn, but it's new to me because I never saw it before. And, um, but it also, it could be that I just hadn't saw it before. <laughs> it is the Barnett Fluffy. So, I picked up two of these. I'm going to tell you about it. It's really, really soft. I picked up a light purple and a dark purple. I, I stood there forever just like, well, what am I going to make with that? I want to make something. I just think this is so pretty. The yarn is super fluffy, and it's a five-weight yarn. It is uh, 415 yards. It's 90% polyester and 10% nylon. So, yeah, um, and this one is amethyst. And this one is purple dusk. One thing I did notice about these, um, never mind. <laughs> um, there's I was going to say one of them's label with this way, and one of them's label with that way. And that is true. But if you turn it, it's the same. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Y'all forgive me. I've been sick this week. I still, I might be a little delirious, okay? <laughs> anyway, ideas. Ah ideas for these. I would like to put these two colors together to make something. I, I really like the two purples. The light purple and the dark purple together. I think they're beautiful. It's super soft and I can't wait to just work work this up and see how lush it is. And I will be using a super big hook with it. It is a, um, a five weight. So I'm not sure what I'll use yet with it, but I'll try a couple of different large hooks and see which one I like the best. Like I said, I'm not sure if this is a brand new yarn, but it was my first time to see it in the store. And sometimes I go in and get what I'm getting and leave. Sometimes I'm not observant, you know, and just don't see things. Okay, and this particular one that I got I just got it because these colors, I love pink and yellow together, and I've learned to love pink and orange together. I would have never put those two colors together, but Big Twist, last summer, I believe, they put out this variegated pink, yellow, and orange, and I bought that yarn. Someone even made me a blanket out of that yarn and sent it to me. And I love those colors together. And so, now, I like yellow and pink together. That, to me, that just screams pink lemonade. I don't know why, but that's what I get. But then this has got the orange added in it. And so, yeah, I want some. <laughs> I got three of them, okay? It's the Karen Latte Cakes. They are so, so soft. Oh, they're so soft. This is 58% um, acrylic, 42% nylon. It's um, 530 yards, I think. It's a five-weight yarn. And it is so soft. That feels so good. So I do want to make something for myself with this. But what? <laughs> what do I want to make with it? I did buy three with that. And then I bought one more thing that's not yarn, but was super cute and was saying, Take me home! <laughs> this little American bear, he just looked really cute um, sitting there. And he was 70% off, and then the coupon was 25% off all items, including sale items. And so, um, he was 70% off plus 25% off, too. 
So he was practically free, and I wasn't going to let him sit there. He could come home with me. I, I just think he's really cute. So, yeah, I'll have him out um, for, you know, Americana decor. And this is it. That's all I bought. Yeah. And so, yeah, I had a cute, um, a coupon Big Daddy had a voucher he had sent me. So I was able to use that voucher plus 25% off all items, every item, you know. And um, so I did good. I did good. <laughs> but yeah, when I went in, like, I, I had already been casing the website and I knew I was getting this yarn and I wanted this colorway they have several colorways as you saw in the video I do like them all that purple is very pretty the green is very pretty the blue is pretty um, they're just all very pretty but I had thought I was gonna get this one to make a certain blanket that I'll be telling you guys about that I wanted to make but then when I got there I guess it was the sign on the display showed a granny square sweater that looked really nice in this color here so now I'm torn do I make the blanket or do I make the sweater or do I tell Big Daddy I need two more <laughs> do I tell Big Daddy I've been sick I need two more of these <laughs> I don't know I don't need to get two more. Um, <laughs> but anyway, I, I do like that bag too. I, I, I like that scrappy looking bag. I think that looks really nice. Also, yeah, I, I've always liked the Karen Big Cake um, Anniversary Cakes when they first came out with them. I did get a couple and used them in projects and stuff. And then I got one that was just my pet. <laughs> my pet yarn and it sat on my desk forever and it's still in my yarn room and I do have a couple of different colorways of this um not this I mean of these they're my pets and so um I did get this one because um just these bright colors really screaming to me so but I'm going to use these in a project. I just got to decide which project. You want to take a vote? Help me out here. Blanket or sweater? Okay. Don't go anywhere. What's your idea for the lat latte cake? I love that. I love that, lat that latte cake. It pink lemonade what is the name of this I don't even know sunset strip that is so pretty and like I said that and that orange in with that pink and yellow just really did it for me I, mean, I like pink and yellow together but adding that orange in, and I'm not an orange person, really and truly. Like, orange is not my color, and pink is not my color. Yellow is my color. <laughs> I do like pink, I do like yellow, and I do like orange. But I would have never thought I would have liked them all three together. But smash, here we are. Okay, and this yarn here, I think I'm going to work up into some slipper socks. Um... It's not a whole lot of yarn here, 174 yards, so I'm, I hope there's enough to do two socks. If you have a different idea, because I really want to see, my slipper socks are normally made with double crochet, and I don't know that that would work up to look like flowers with double crochet. So, um... If you have another project idea for the Sweet Snuggles Light, the Rose, didn't 
I see that somewhere. Didn't I just read the name of this? I thought I read the name of it on here, but now I can't find it. Anyway, I know I read that. <laughs> here it is. Rose Blossom. If you have an idea for that tell me if you have an idea for these two the light purple and the dark purple these are really soft y'all I don't know what I want to make with these but that is super soft very very lush sassy very very soft um I've never you know like I said I've never felt these before If you've made something with these, please let me know in the comments um, of what you have made and, you know, what you thought about it. And then I have this saltwater taffy right here. I just, I look down in here and I, nope, nope. And I saw all these pretty colors in here. Like there's some tur uh, pink and yellow. There's some turquoise and yellow. And all that just looks so yummy in there. Can you see those colors? And this is 246 yards. So I'm trying to think about it in yard wise. Like, well, how much can you really make with only bought one of these? I probably should have got two to do some kind of project. But, um,. Yeah, I don't know. I might get another one if I need another one. But yeah, guys, so that was my Michael's haul. My yarn haul from Michael's. So tell me what you guys think. If you've used these yarns, what you made. Suggestions, I'm open. But guys, I hope you all have a great day. A great weekend. I'll be back. We will have some more videos. Big Daddy and I have some announcements to make. So be here or be lost. <laughs> I'm lost. Be here if you want to know what's going on. Okay? Because we have some announcements we're going to be making. Some exciting stuff is happening in our life. And therefore it's going to be some exciting stuff in your life. So come back and check it out I know I mean I'm saying this for real like he has a big announcement we both have a big announcement together and I have a big announcement <laughs> so you guys come back and check in with us and we will see y'all all in the next video bye Thank you guys for joining me today. I enjoyed hanging out with you guys and I hope you enjoyed your time with me and I appreciate you all so very much. Y'all are the best friends ever and I'm so glad that I'm here with you guys. Have a great weekend. I'll see you in the next video, friends.